Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron Fours. We are playing with Catholic Metzigo. All right, so one thing I wanted to do real quick before we continue our invasion of the United States is go in and get somebody assigned to, I guess we'll do the cab guy, uh, somebody assigned to, you know, lead our, our troops that are defending the ports. Uh, and it does look like we, did we lose a division or something? Or did I accidentally pull one out? Not entirely sure what happened here, because we had 20 assigned, or I thought we did, and now we do not. Uh, so let's go ahead and take one of these and get them assigned over there. Uh, and we're going to be continuing the invasion of the United States. I think I did need to finish up what we were doing with the Navy here, because uh, I, I want to change their color up. I, just, I don't want the yellow. We'll, we'll change them to change them to red. I guess these guys are red. We'll change them to blue. I like having my submarines as red. These guys can be blue. And then we're going to go and get all these guys out there tasked to doing the convoy raiding. And we'll have them convoy raid in these three zones as well as out here. And that's probably going to be it for right now. Well, you know, we can go to the western seaboard. No, looks like there might be some ships there. Uh, so we'll just go to these these zones for now. Uh, maybe we'll look at doing other ones uh, later. Let's see how much success we have in these current zones. Uh, so let's go and get everybody moving across here. Uh, all these guys can then go all the way to Houston. Uh, we only have two divisions up here, unfortunately. We're pushing forward there. Uh, but yeah, just make sure that all of our troops are pushing forward at all times so that we... Uh... Oh, shit. I hate when I do that. I, I select the guy. I think I have the guy selected. I'm just moving so quick. It looks like there might be a civil war over here in Spain or something. Maybe I read that wrong. Yeah, I must have read that wrong. Uh, so let's go ahead and tell Colombia they can join any conflict they haven't already. Could use their assistance. And let's go ahead and have these guys push over here. Uh, so we are getting more stuff uh, from the Americans as we tank their territory. Uh, let's go ahead and put it into naval bombers. We do need to trade for steel, though hopefully... Oh, oh okay, I see what the problem is here. We're not getting it from the Germans. Got it. Okay, there was... Okay, Imperial Spanish Morocco. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but I think that's what that was about. Uh, so, yeah, there's nobody to trade with for steel. That's unfortunate. We'll have to trade with these guys. Yeah, uh, that's kind of messed up. Uh, so, uh, let's get this dockyard assigned. I suppose we can do... Yeah, I, mean, I guess we'll do another submarine. <laughs> we'll just have a, a crap ton of submarines. Why not? I mean, as of right now, we, we don't have a ton. I mean, we only have whatever we got here, 15. So building more is fine. Uh, eventually, I'd like to get more of a navy out there. But of course, um, you know, uh, we don't have any tech for that. So I'm just going to keep on pushing forward across this front, man. There's just nobody here to, to stop this, this offensive. Uh, they still haven't moved troops over here. Uh, we're about to get Dallas now. Uh, I, I expect that we will be able to get all of Texas at this point. I don't think that this is going to be a problem, uh, getting all of Texas. Uh, we have more military factories that we seized. We should probably go and get a lot of these assigned, because uh, I think this is going to, we're just going to continue getting uh, uh, factories. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them going towards tanks, uh, probably more towards planes as well. Get the close air support going up. All right, so that looks pretty good. And then also we'll just, you know, give all dockyards to, to the submarines. Uh, so we should also take a look at our occupation policies. Uh, it looks like whatever happened with the Germans has been fixed. So we can go ahead and actually stop here. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do the occupation policies for the American territory that we're taking. Uh, all right, we already have the civilian oversight. Okay, that's fine. But you can see how much manpower we're using. We still use a, a ton of manpower for this uh, to get this done. Uh, we didn't get the MPs yet. I don't think. Let me just double check. Yeah, 60 more days and we get the MPs. Uh, we don't have any army experience uh, to add uh, those, though, because we're not fighting anybody. There's nobody to fight. There's no Americans defending America. As this is this is not how an invasion of America would go. Even if there was no army to defend it, there would be a whole bunch of Americans out there with guns. Uh, having some kind of resistance. I'll tell you that right now, man. Uh, the Americans would not be allowing us to just walk through their territory without any defense here. Yeah, just zero defense of the American homeland. So we'll, we'll be going to Little Rock, Arkansas. We're about to get into New Orleans. I mean, what the... F Good God, guys. The AI, man. I, so, I was trying to have a nice, fun conflict against the Americans, but uh, 
Yeah, we don't even need their troops. Uh, it looks like that's not going to be possible uh, because they, uh, they're not defending their territory. Quite unfortunate. Uh, so now we'll have to find something else to do, I guess. And now we can't get steel from the Hungarians. Uh, the, the the fact of the matter is is that we're going to have trouble with the convoy situation. We really can't, we don't have any ships to protect our our stuff out there. Uh, our submarines are getting engaged out here. Also, there are some naval invasions that might be potentially happening. Uh, we have a naval invasion happening there. Uh, looks like potentially a naval invasion here. Uh, so that's something to be concerned about. Yeah, it looks like they're doing, they've got lots of naval invasions planned as of right now. Uh, but will they be able to complete them or not? Uh, with our submarines in the air, or with our submarines in the sea and our uh, naval bombers in the air in some of these areas anyway. I do question if they'll, they'll have any success here. Uh, we could move these guys, since it doesn't look like we're having any invasions there. So let's just move them here. Could also have them here and then they could, could bomb any ships right there. Uh, but yeah, so far... Uh, Oh, we did lose one of our submarines there. Okay, I was going to say, we haven't really seen much as far as, like, convoy sinking or submarines being sunk. Uh, and there we go. There's the Americans. Good God. It sure took them a long time to defend their damn territory, didn't it? Jeez. I, I did not expect to get this much territory. I mean, I, like, I should be happy about it, but, you know, some people think that's that's strange. Um, but I, I kind of wanted a challenge here, guys, and that's, that's, the, uh, that's the reason why I kind of lament the fact that they're not here defending their territory. Uh, it would just be nice if, um, you know, we had a little bit of a challenge here since this is supposed to be our main enemy. It's supposed to be our main rival. And it's really hard for them to be a main rival when they're not here defending their territory. Go there, I guess. Yeah, we'll get as much as possible, though, uh, while we can. We can go and move these planes over here. Uh, that's where I really want to see some success. Uh, and, yeah, I'm not entirely sure why we can't... Uh, I guess it's because it's such a huge air zone. And so the middle's, like, right here. And it's, you know, they obviously just can't reach there. And for whatever reason, they're also... Even though they're here, it's almost like their air zone is based here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but th that's clearly what the issue is. So we have to wait until we get an air base in California or perhaps in uh, another state. All right, so we actually are attacking somebody now, so we're gonna want to stop that attack. As you see, we don't have much success there. Uh, we'll have to see if they end up pushing us back uh, now, because they very easily, you know, could if they have enough troops. We're like extremely spread out at this point. I was really just kind of advancing, you know, taking territory because we could, and not so much uh, because we could actually carry it or, excuse me, defend it all. Uh, so set up provisional state government. We might want to bring these guys uh, up to the front as well now. Uh, I'll wait and see uh, where we'd want to put them. Uh, so, the provisional government. What is this one about? Where's that at? Let's take a look at this. Here, there's the strike crisis. Uh, and yeah, we're going to keep getting these these penalties here until we can, uh, you know, get rid of these. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really bad, man. Look at this. You, you lose resources. Your factories and dockyards are more terrible. Uh, overall, it's just a, just a negative, guys. So, any political power we get, we have to spend... On trying to increase the stability, but yeah, just overall, it's uh, not good. Hopefully, we get some favorable events regarding that. So this is the creating the provisional state government, which we just cannot do uh, for obvious reasons. It's going to take away political power, which we do not have political power at this moment. Uh, so yeah, that's just not an option, guys. Uh, let's see what we did here. Uh, we did bomb their fleet. All right, this is what I want to see. I want to see the bombing of the American fleet. We sunk a convoy there as well. Uh, Cause yeah, we gotta get the their fleet. Um, no, try and get get it destroyed. Uh, so that will take time, of course. Uh, let's make sure that all those guys are there and all these guys are here. Don't need all these troops coming here just for one province. Uh, so they are now attacking us there. Uh, they they have gotten troops uh, across here. Uh, we're about to cut these guys off. Let's make sure we cut them off. Uh, and I'm going to actually stop this attack here and not help because uh, we don't want them defeated there. Uh, probably not going to get there before those guys, so we won't. Let's just go here again, just trying to take open territory. Make sure that we keep pushing forward without having to fight too much. Because, uh, again, we, we don't have manpower right now. Uh, we're at 62,000. I mean, it's not not a lot. We could easily burn through that against the Americans uh, if we do stupid attacks. All right, so we're still pushing forward across the front. Let's go ahead and have these guys grab those provinces there. And uh, I'm not going to take the expeditionary forces. I'm going to let them control their own troops for now. And remember the Alamo. 
So we have taken Texas over. Texas is ours. We have cut off these divisions as well. Let's go and get them destroyed. Uh, and let's go and push forward there. We'll continue to try and prioritize uh, the cutting off and destruction of divisions when we can. Uh, but let's make sure that we're not doing any, any attacks that we lose. And it's, uh, you know what, we're going to have to tell the, the purple army to stop the madness here. I'll have to manually control them. Because uh, now they're just going to be doing stupid attacks uh, continually. Like across rivers and stuff. And we just do not have the manpower to, uh, to be able to phase uh, the AI doing really dumb stuff. It's just not going to going to work all right so I mean we've gotten much of the territory that I said I wanted to get if the Americans didn't defend their border initially so I'm happy about that let's go and take a look see what's happening to the sea I want to keep our eye on the, the naval situation I have sunk convoys um, we've only lost that one submarine so far so that's good also I guess we can take a look and see what's all gone on down here with our allies. So far everything looks good, we just need to get Jamaica now. Uh, there is still the Southern Bahamas too that need to be grabbed. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that for myself, we'll let them do that. Uh, most importantly, you can see that the naval invasions are all gone, uh, so they're not doing that anymore. I assume it's because they've had to, uh, you know, we don't need to even go this way now. Uh, they've had to send all their divisions. Yeah, I assume they've had to send all their divisions over to this front, and so that's the reason why. We did destroy that division there. So that's good to see. At the end of this episode, we'll, we'll take a look at the casualties. We are attacking across a river there. Not desirable, but we've already done it, and we've already won, so might as well keep it going at this point. And we'll just watch the whole front and just kind of pay attention to the whole front. And and we'll eventually want to change up like what our divisions are doing. Uh, we're not doing that attack, so no need to worry about that. All right, we're going to go ahead and have... I would like to surround that guy, but yeah, that's not going to work, so we'll just push him back. Uh, not aggression pact offer. We'll accept that. Let's go ahead and see what we're doing here. Uh, so it's just a battleship. Oh, we've done a little bit damaged. It's just interesting that you know we're having you know these domestic issues and and uh, you know definitely having some problems there with, like with the stability. But yet we're still able to to get this done uh, because the Americans have just have made so many massive mistakes, man. Like just leaving this territory undefended was huge. Like I'm not entirely sure what they were thinking and it almost feels like they didn't have very many divisions in their homeland period uh, that's what it seems like to me anyways uh, these guys are it took them a long time to get over here like they, they probably only had a few up protecting the ports I suppose because uh, yeah I can't can't really explain uh, what's going on why it took them so long to get over here unless they they really sent the majority of the divisions all the way to Europe, uh, which there were some concerns in the comments. A couple people uh, concerned that that end up would end up happening, and that it'd be really easy to conquer the Americans. Now, I thought you know that they would defend against their border because once we went fascist, I, I thought they would see us as a threat. Apparently, it didn't happen that way. However, I figured even if we did get that initial jump on their territory, where we got to we got to conquer a little bit of territory, uh, that even then. And let's go and get the MPs, though. Yeah, there's no reason to get those until those are in the units. Uh, but yeah, even if we did get the jump, I just figured that they would eventually get troops over to the border, as you see they are doing, and they would eventually stop us. Uh, the question is, is the damage done? Like, have we already taken so much territory from them that now we are, you know, in such a great position, uh, that, and they're in such a weak position? Remember, we just took their, uh... Oh, I didn't really realize that Spain could cause issues here, but... You know, potentially seizing control. We did lose another submarine. Okay. We are going to lose submarines, guys. This is going to happen. Uh, but we have new subs to replace those lost ones. Uh, but that's where probably the majority of our own casualties will be initially here. Looks like Little Rock is open. Uh, we would have to stop this division from getting there, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, looks like that'll be a win. Let's go ahead and take Little Rock. Uh, and again, we're going to try and cut troops off where we can. Like right here, for instance, should be able to cut that division off uh, once these troops here move. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll cut troops off because, you know, we don't want to have to, to fight the Americans all across their territory. They've, they've got a lot of territory. Uh, so that gives them lots of time to build up new units. I don't really want to fight all those units all the way across. So we're going to try and destroy the units uh, the best that we can. Uh, we did lose that territory there. It looks like our unit didn't lose, though. I'm not sure what happened. He must not have reinforced quick enough. Uh, so let's go and take a look and see what we did here. We sunk one of their destroyers. All right, excellent. Uh, that was our naval bombers did that. And we lost another submarine. Okay. Again, we're going to keep an eye on the, uh, the naval conflict. I like watching what happens with the naval conflict. I find it interesting. 
Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy move here, and this guy move over this way. And then what we should do is attempt to, to cut off these guys. Uh, and I think the best way to do that would, would actually be to come up, oops, come up over this way. And we can maybe cut off everybody that's here. Because uh, they're attacking Little Rock and they're not going to win there. Uh, we can't go ahead and stop this and then bring these guys over here. Uh, we are in a prime position to be cut off ourselves though, so let's go ahead and have him move there. And you know what? Do we have these guys moving here already? We do. Alright, so we won't worry about... Don't worry about that. We'll hopefully try and get those guys cut off soon. Uh, so, hmm. I want to cut that guy off. Let's go up this way. I'll go towards Wichita. We are manually controlling all the divisions, so it's going to be a bit slow. Uh, but I think it's better doing it this way. Uh, we can make you know smarter decisions uh, than the AI is going to do. And we can also focus on cutting off any troops that happen to be here, which the AI won't do that either. And I know the, the Red Army's kind of in a weird position here, guys. It's fine. Uh, I really want to just kind of focus on going this way and manually controlling them. We did get the regimental combat teams. We're going to continue getting the uh, doctrines, go after the mechanized offensive next, even though that one doesn't actually help us at all because we don't have any mechanized. But we'll go ahead and go for it anyway. Well, you know what? There are research bonuses for the land doctrines in the focus tree, I think, that we haven't gotten yet. So maybe we should count those up and see how many we get. Uh, land doctrine bonuses. Maybe we don't have any. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? We might not have any land doctrine bonuses. It does seem like that's the case. All right. Um, you know what? Then I think we're still not going to go for it because again, this one doesn't really help us much. It doesn't help us at all, really. Uh, and you know, these ones obviously do. Whichever one we end up going down here. But you know what? We're, we're going to wait. Uh, there's all kinds of other passive bonuses that we could get. Uh, that would help us, like the artillery soft attack. That'd be nice to have. Uh, we could go for the next medium tank, so we start building those up. Because uh, I would like to, with whatever experience we get, I would like to, to spend that on uh, uh, getting those designed. Of course, we have to, to get the planes, which, you know, we were waiting until we got the design company and we got that. So, yeah, let's get better planes out there. That's what we'll get. I had forgotten that we haven't uh, actually researched those yet. We are short on resources. And we have maxed out our trade ability with the Germans. Uh, so let's go and trade with the Finnish. Uh, we're going to get one factory worth, but yeah, we're going to have some steel problems, guys. All these factories that we're getting, we don't really have the resources. Uh, also, it looks like we're short on rubber. Uh, damn, that kind of sucks. Because there's not a lot of people to trade with when it comes to rubber, with us putting all those factories towards the, uh, the planes. Yeah, it's going to be a problem, guys. How are we doing on civilian factories? We don't have very many civilian factories. I think we're gonna have to be short on the rubber. I, I actually, I think what we have to do because we are so short on rubber is we need to pull back on plane production. Frankly, we just aren't going to be able to support a large amount of plane, plane production due to lack of, of rubber. Uh, we're gonna need to get the text for that, guys, because we're just not gonna get enough rubber uh, otherwise. Uh, so let's go ahead and first get this plane situation figured out. Uh, we're just gonna have to go down, I think, on all of them. Yeah, like so, for right now. That'll work. We have some more fighters we could put out there. Uh, we do need to get these military factories assigned, and there's really nothing that we can build that we have uh, a lot of right now. Uh, for resources, I mean. Uh, I suppose we'll update the infantry equipment. I'm going to get these as well. Just stuff that doesn't take rubber. We don't want any uh, anything that requires rubber right now. As far as steel, we can't even get that, though. Uh, so, overall... Yeah, I kind of feel like we're not going to be able to use all of our factories. And what's the point on uh, using the factories if, if you can't uh, supply them with resources? Yeah, I think that's the situation we're currently in, guys. We're going to have to pull back on uh, production, frankly. Yeah, it's really the only thing to do because there's just no uh, there's just no resources out there for us. And that should be enough, hopefully. Yeah, that's what we'll have to do. We'll have to pull back on production. That's kind of a shame. Uh, we just won't be able to assign those military factories until we get either more civilian factories from the American Conquest, where we can trade those off, uh, or get some resources. Uh, now, as far as like getting rubber from the uh, Americas, you know, as you can see, they don't they don't have any rubber, uh, but they do have steel uh, that we can grab. Uh, obviously, lots of oil that we don't need oil. Uh, Pearl Harbor has fallen, so the Japanese have uh, attacked Hawaii. Looks like they've already taken a lot of the American islands. Yeah, uh, I think the Allies are about to collapse, guys. How are the British doing? Uh, they haven't lost any territory yet. Looks like they did take Ireland back. That's surprising. You rarely see that happen. They rarely take Ireland back. Uh, still have the invasions going on in Italy as well in southern France. Uh, the Soviets are, are continuing to lose. 
Uh, India's going against the Soviets as well, so the Allies are having some success. Some success there. Uh, they still have Singapore as well, which has given them a lot of resources. Uh, it's a bummer we can't trade with the Japanese. They have control of, like almost all the world's rubber, and I imagine that they have closed off all their trade because they are not even an option to uh, to trade with. Uh, yeah, closed economy. So basically, they're going to take over most of the world's rubber and then not trade it with anybody. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Uh, rubber is going to be incredibly difficult to get. Uh, as we've already seen, there's nobody to trade uh, with right now. So not surprising uh, that they close off the trade. The fascist countries typically do that. Uh, it does cause issues, though. Uh, we lost another submarine. Do we have any submarines finished building? We do. Uh, we're going to get those guys placed then. Kind of replace our losses. I feel like we need to stay here, uh, but yeah, we man, we are losing submarines there. I feel like we have to cover it though, uh, so we'll keep them there for now. I, if the submarine losses get too high, then we might have to pull it back. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop that. Uh, we want to go up this way, try and cut these guys off here. So we'll take this, those guys will be cut off, then we'll go after Springfield. Uh, these guys are just about cut off. Um, maybe we'll cut them off right here. Go that way. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can't get these guys here cut off. And we'll just have to go, we'll go after this province right here. Go after that one as well, and hopefully they don't attack there. And then have these guys come over here so we can start cutting off going this way. Uh, these guys are almost here, so we'll just let them continue, and then we'll go after Denver. Uh, and then these guys here can, I suppose, just, let's go that way. Let's start closing up some of this here because it's getting kind of ugly. Overall, the... The borders are pretty ugly anyways. You know, we just don't have... We don't have enough divisions to cover such a large front like this. So again, they're in a prime position uh, to, you know, do something about that. Just bringing troops over here would help them a lot. I think they're now sending troops back home from Europe. Uh, so I think that's what's going on right now. And we are sinking some of those convoys that are coming through the south here. Uh, but yeah, it's... It was just really stupid on their part. Uh, you know what? Let's go this way and try and close it off. Through this direction. Maybe we can wrap around all of these troops here. That's not impossible. Get them all cut off and uh, attempt to destroy them. Yeah, I think we could do that. Actually going this way and going up here. Have multiple avenues to try and cut them off as well in case they, you know, react to certain things. Uh, so with these guys here, will they get there before us? That's the question. One day and 12 hours, we get there in uh, two days and three hours, so they will. So in that case, let me see if this guy can get there instead a little bit faster. No. Uh, so let's go up to Springfield. And we'll attack here. Uh, it is across a river, uh, but I want to make sure that we cut that division off there. Still moving across here, still moving across here. Just need to keep our eyes on uh, these situations where we're attempting to, to cut troops off. Uh, these guys here can go ahead and push up as well. Also, expeditionary force offers. We're going to decline on those, I suppose. Um, I mean, I could take control of their divisions, but I prefer that they control them uh, just for now. Like if we had like a, a you know organized front line here with the, the Americans. Oops, I just canceled something. I just said I don't want to be alerted to something. Hopefully it wasn't anything important. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and push forward along the coast there. And yeah, really just focus on cutting troops off so we can destroy these guys. Uh, and any troops they they bring here, while they don't have enough to defend their territory because they don't have enough to defend the entire border, this is the perfect opportunity, of course, to cut troops off. Uh, so we are able to cut this guy off now. So let's go and make that happen. Or we have them cut off, so now we want to get them destroyed. Uh, and again, we'll take a look at what convoys are being sunk. Alright, so these guys should be all pushing forward here. And yeah, we're going to keep on moving along the southern coast there. Uh, and we don't need to do this attack anymore. We did get our unit there in time, uh, so that's not necessary. Let's move up to Kansas City now. Uh, we'll also try and get these divisions here cut off. We'll go towards Topeka uh, from two different directions. Try and cut off the, the divisions in Tulsa. Uh, these guys are going over this way. This would be easy to cut that guy off, so let's go and make that happen. And then we'll push forward up here as well. Now uh, maybe we'll go that way. So this is often like the, uh, the, you know, best situation, uh, against the AI is when they don't have enough divisions to defend their territory. Uh, and then what happens is they just let you cut them off, like, really easily. Uh, so... It's a really bad situation for the AI. Really good situation for us. Because, uh, yeah, we'll just be able to just cut off large numbers of divisions and get them destroyed. Because uh, they just aren't 
The AI can do okay if they have enough divisions to defend a border, uh, then they do all right, I suppose. But once they're at a point where they, they can't defend the border, they just don't have the numbers, uh, then it gets absolutely disastrous for them. And that's exactly what we're seeing here now, guys. Let's go and have these guys take care of this territory for us. Oh, it looks like we actually uh, face a little bit of resistance there. Uh, we'll have that guy, well, he won't be cut off. Um, uh, I suppose what we'll do is we'll have him go this way. He won't be cut off because he has a port, uh, but we'll see what we can do there. Uh, destroyed that unit there. We'll take a look at the casualties at the end of the episode, see how we've done on getting the enemy destroyed. A little bit of trouble here, I think, on uh, trying to complete the uh, the complete surrounding of these guys here. We have to find a point where we can attack and, and get a win. Uh, the problem, of course, is the rivers. Uh, the rivers are going to cause issues, I think. Uh, this will here will be done, so that'll free up some divisions. For right now, we'll just have to sit and see what happens. Uh, you know, we'll get divisions kind of moved around. Uh, so he's going after Topeka. So that means these guys are now cut off. Uh, let's go ahead and get them destroyed or attempt to destroy them anyway. Uh, might be difficult to do since we seem to not have any divisions here. Uh, yeah, no divisions to get this done. Uh, and we are attacking here, and that's unnecessary because we're about to cut these guys off. So let's just wait on that. I was trying to cut that guy off, but yeah, they'll all be cut off. It's fine. Uh, this guy can go and move here. Just make sure we kind of thicken this up a little bit. Make sure they can't, uh, you know what, actually what we should do is have this guy come down here and help out. Because as you can see, that mountain troop can't do it alone, uh, despite the fact that he is cut off. What we'll want to do is actually just go ahead and have, hmm, we already won there. All right, so let's go ahead and help out. Make sure we get that done. Again, looking for a place to, to cut these guys off. This would be across the river. They do have... Yeah, they're attacking us right now. Okay, so we're going to have to wait. I have to wait till we get our troop numbers up a bit here. Could hurry up and run down towards Florida. I, I do feel like this guy would likely get cut off if we did that. One day in three hours, can we beat him so we force him to attack us across the river? Uh, no, we could not. All right, well, let's go and go this way, and let's just hope that we don't get cut off ourselves. Uh, they are starting to push forward in some of these areas now. Uh, they, they do have troop numbers here now. Uh, so our time of just doing what we wanted looks like it is is starting to end here, but there still is a lot of territory left to grab before they, they get enough over here to fully defend, especially on the West Coast. I think the West Coast is gone. I, I, don't, I don't think they're going to be able to react to that. And don't actually, we'll, we'll go here. Uh, remember, we do have all of our allies helping as well, so that's big. Uh, these guys should be weaker. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like we could get a win there. Let's go and have this be our, our point where we cut these guys off and destroy all the troops that are located there. Uh, we should also get our planes moving ahead. Um, now we have planes here, but yeah, this is clearly not enough. Uh, we're probably taking high losses, in fact. Uh, in this area. I would expect that we were. We could move here. This is really the front. We're gonna we're gonna keep our, our planes here uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move like everything we got uh, over here uh, as far as fighters go. Just trying to make sure that uh, we win there. Again, we might not have the numbers here. So that'll be 600 total. Uh, let's go ahead and move any other fighters we got out there. Uh, let's go ahead and move these guys and have them help out as well. Alright, so that's not nearly enough planes, um, but at the very least we can compete. Uh, let's just hope we're not taking too many losses, especially given the fact that, uh, you know, we can't even build planes at this point. Nah, because we just don't have the rubber to support it. Uh, so let's go up this way, uh, and then we'll, we'll try and get around these guys. Uh, and at the very least, uh, you know, even if we can't completely cut them, cut them off, at least get them destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and go up here, or I mean get them pushed back into the sea is what I meant to say. Uh, so these guys are going to take all that for us. And that's right, we still have this to get taken care of. I'm going to get those guys moving uh, and just about cut those guys off. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here. And I suppose we can go after Denver. Alright, excellent. We want to keep some of these divisions down here to actually destroy those guys. Uh, and it looks like we do just about have those guys pushed back so we can attack towards Tulsa. Uh, they they are attacking us there. They're not attacking there. Okay, well let's go and move them there so we can support that, that defense if need be. Uh, looks like um, uh, our allies are attacking there. So that had confused me for a moment there. Uh, we are across the river here. 
I don't know where this guy's going. Let's go along the, the edge here. I, I do want to get all Florida taken. I am a bit concerned, though, that this guy's going to get cut off. But if we can get all the way down to Miami and, and you know, get the, uh, the port there, uh, then he'll at least be supplied. Uh, let's see who they have. Uh, given I, I, accept, I expect that they're sending all their divisions to this front line here. That's what you would think, anyways. Uh, to try and defend this territory that they are losing quite rapidly. Uh, so we have all these uh, divisions cut off and we can get them destroyed. Uh, we did sink a convoy. It looks like the Venezuelans lost a couple convoys there. I don't know how many navies, or how many navies, how many ships uh, these guys have. I'm just curious. Uh, none. Huh. Now oh, maybe that was Colombia. They have uh, similar flags. Yeah, I think that was Colombia. And their ships is 15. They have 15 ships. Okay. I have a few. Alright. So they're attacking us here. Uh, we just moved there. I'd like to get these guys here cut off, but uh, obviously we have to finish this defense. Things are, are going to get uh, more challenging now, guys. Uh, they do start to have some, some troop numbers here. Uh, let's go and get these guys here destroyed. And everybody leaves. That's one of the biggest pains here, is that they, they take off. Uh, and go to another front after you had them sitting here specifically to, to, to get these guys destroyed and they, they take off uh, so it causes issues uh, let's go ahead and have both these guys go over this way let's hurry up and get this this done here and then this guy can go here and get that wrapped up for us uh, the guy that we sent to Denver has arrived let's go and keep pushing forward I'd love to get all the way up to Canada uh, remember we gotta conquer that territory though too because they're uh, part of the allies uh, and I think they're one of the few that have remained democratic because uh, everybody was going fascist. Everybody's gone fascist in this one. Apparently, uh, fascism is quite popular in this world that we've created here. Uh, so those guys are wrapping that up for us. And yeah, they're going up that way. All right, excellent. And more strikes. Awesome. <laughs> oh, Lord, man. And we never got anything about that, did we? I, I don't recall getting like the heroes on the production front. Uh, I think we just got the 20% strikes to happen again, uh, which means they are just going to further deplete our goddamn... Yeah. Yeah, we're in a bad situation, guys, uh, with the the lack of stability. Again, you get into this death spiral because you need the uh, political power to increase stability. Yeah, we're just going to have to keep on doing that. Um, we might have to stop getting focuses for a little while, uh, though I really, really want this man manpower here. Uh, so we might go for that and then stop getting uh, focuses just to try and fix our situation for a little while. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, that, that's a major problem. It's just interesting, though. I find it really interesting that, you know, we, we, we're clearly winning here uh, the war. Yet, um, when you really think about it, you know, with all of our issues, yeah, this is not going to work here. You know, we have so many, uh, you know, problems in the home on the home front there. Uh, home front is not doing well. Uh, so this isn't going to work. We'll have to defend, I suppose. Let's go and get this guy moving over this way. But yeah, they could easily reconnect all those troops, which would not be good. Uh, you know what? Well, he's already on his way there. We'll have to wait. Let's see what we did here. We sunk another convoy. All right. Excellent. Uh, not seeing any naval invasions. We do have a naval combat there. We're attempting to sink troop convoys. Uh, and I think the majority of those convoys that we're sinking are troop convoys. Uh, so that's good. And yeah, they, they do have all these troops all up on all up, all up on this border. Good God, can't talk today. Massive fronts uh, that we just can't even fathom uh, attempting to actually defend. It does look like they have moved. Oops, God damn it. So we're just gonna keep on going along the coast there. Yeah, they have moved those troops out of here. All right, so we're gonna try and get that wrapped up. And this guy will go here to get that finished up. Let's keep on pushing forward. Uh, while this territory is still not defended. And there is a division somewhere. Yeah. Just a lot of uh, craziness going on right now with uh, this big old massive front. Looks like some of my efforts to cut off troops was not, were not very successful. Stalingrad has finally fallen. Just took a long time for them to take that. Uh, let's go ahead and push forward here and go and attack those guys. Just continue trying to get those guys cut off there. Uh, looks like we are losing that attack. Uh, let's just stop it then. Unless they decide to, to go to this province, which we have to stop. Absolutely have to stop them from, from going here. 
All right, so yeah, those guys will continue down that way. Let's just hope they don't attempt to cut us off, though. We, we do almost have a port in our hands down there, so at the very least, we won't be uh, cut off on supply, uh, which is certainly a risk. Uh, and we sunk another troop convoy there, so that's good. Trying to get these uh, units here wrapped up uh, once we get all these guys here destroyed. Be super helpful. That'll free up more divisions to go on to the front line. All right, let's go and attack those guys. That should be an easy attack. These guys will go all the way across as well. All right, and let's go and attempt to try and cut off those troops. We'll see what happens there. Uh, just looking at the, the borders here, and yeah, they've got a lot of troops that have come from... And you know what? I know we're winning there, but I don't think that's necessary. Let's just go here, guys. Oh, we're going to have to fight him anyway. Never mind. <laughs> he's going there. And it looks like he's taking the railroad, so that's the reason why we were able to win that attack. And we had a division right there, but he disappeared for a second. All right, let's go and, and cut this off just so that uh, nobody else can come over here, though. Frankly, it would probably be a better thing if they did come here. Because we could cut them off and uh, get them destroyed. So getting that territory wrapped up, uh, we're actually fighting somebody there. Uh, we'll go after Portland, although might not want Portland. <laughs> uh, it's not a uh, not a good situation in Portland right now. Uh, of course, obviously that's many years in the future. Maybe we'll just decide to to not take Portland though. Uh, just avoid those those future riots. Uh, so we need to help out here get these guys wrapped up. Let's go ahead and have them support this attack. This is just about done now. And that's uh, quite a few troops that we cut off and destroyed. Uh, we are starting to have manpower problems, guys. Let's go ahead and get this territory here taken. And yeah, it looks like we might be able to get all Florida in our hands. I did not expect it to get this much territory before they reacted. Uh, but I, I, again, I, I kind of feel like they had to move troops from Europe or something like that because... Uh, yeah, it took them a long time to get these guys over here. Uh, let's go ahead and have this guy assigned to this front now. Push up that way, and he'll take all that territory for us. All right, beautiful. All quite well. Got a lot of troops that we have cut off overall. Uh, what we need to do is stop them from reconnecting, though. Um, I guess if you took that province, that stops that. Uh, we need to get these guys destroyed. Uh, I'm trying to look for the best way to do that. Probably attacking here and then here. Like so... Uh, they're not pushing us back, uh, interestingly enough. Uh, they could, because uh, we don't have the borders well defended. Uh, they could push us back, but for whatever reason, they decided not to do that. Uh, we did get the radar, uh, so we want to get those built. Might want to take a look and see what our civilian factories are doing. Uh, we won't build any more radar just yet. There's a lot of other stuff for us to get. Uh, and I think we should go ahead and start going after the rubber guys. Um, you know, I don't think there's going to be any way of fixing that. Uh, the rubber situation right now. We could put these guys up on a border. We could even throw them into the Red Army since we don't really need them here. Uh, that's what we'll do. We'll throw them into the Red Army for right now. I should have did that before, but I forgot all about them. So we'll have them go up on the Red Army and help us push this forward. I know that they're not great units. Uh, and again, I, I kind of want to focus the Red Army down here. Uh, I know the Purple Army is on this massive, strange frontier. So what we're going to do is pull them back and kind of start making it so that this is like two different fronts. Purple Army more focused on uh, elsewhere. All right, so that's how it looks. Obviously, the Purple Army is, is going to be way overextended, but I'm, I'm expecting that, they, that there won't be many troops up here. Uh, but that situation might change. Uh, we can see that they are pumping divisions into this territory uh, as best as they can. Uh, let's go ahead and go here. Again, just trying to cut troops off where we can. Uh, almost got those divisions destroyed. I feel like we've done pretty good casualties to them so far. Of course, we are the ones losing in the sea, losing submarines. So we're taking some casualties there. We're sinking their convoys, though. So I think it's worth it keeping them in there, uh, just keeping them honest in the sea. they gotta, they got to be concerned about us. Looks like this guy will not be able to go all the way up there. So let's just have them go here for right now. I was trying to get that port, though. And, oh yes, he's pulling back. Damn, that's a, that's a shame. Yeah, we, we don't have the Red Army here just yet. we got to wait for these guys to get over here. Maybe I should have waited to pull the, the Purple Army back until we got the whole Red Army here. But yeah, they're just not being very uh, aggressive. They're just not really doing much. They have all these uh, opportunities to, to do something here, and they're just not. Uh, they did move troops here, so we're going to get them cut off now. Uh, so you know what, let's go ahead and have these guys continue there. And yeah, they'll go that way. Or you know what, they'll go this way. They can, they can do that. 
All right, so attacking that way. And let's just make sure at all times, again, that we uh, any visions uh, uh, that are here are, are, are attacking and getting territory taken. Uh, so those guys are already doing that, so what we can do is just have them come somewhere else. All right, uh, looks like we have reached the river here, so let's just go ahead and take Portland now. And yeah, these guys come up over this way. All right, looking good. Looking very good. Still taking a lot of territory right now. Still having a lot of success. Uh, as far as the, the planes in the sky, I think we're probably taking too high of losses here now. Should probably go somewhere where we have a bit more of a chance to uh, to actually be able to dominate. So, you know what? We're going to move. Uh, we don't want to move all those planes over there. That'd be overstaffed. Way overstaffed. Uh, it does look like we actually have some plane shortage problems here. What if we went here... Yeah, I think no matter where we're at, they're going to have a lot of planes. There's only 300 here. We might be able to, to, you know, control the skies there. They'll probably just move them, though. We'll see, guys. We'll see if they move them. Yeah, they're just going to move their planes. Uh, so, yeah, we are taking high casualties uh, with the fighters. Uh, so, I think this is what we're going to do. We're just going to try and I'm gonna try and go places where I think we'd have a better chance. I keep from forgetting, though, that that's, uh, those numbers are... The air base there is just overstaffed. We might need to build some air bases. Yeah, potentially might have to build some air bases, guys. Oh, yes, that's right. I wanted to see what we're doing with this radar. Uh, these guys don't really need to be built anymore. Um, I mean, I guess, I suppose these two uh, work fine because they, they're they going to be used for uh, the naval situation. So we're going to get some radar going throughout this territory. I'm even going to build in Cuba, trying to get a, a little bit of coverage, kind of help us out there. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's all we'll do. We'll finish that one because we've already started with it. Uh, yeah, uh, we haven't started with this one, but we, again, we can use all these for our Navy. So any ones that we can use for our Navy, we'll keep going. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, uh, our lack of civilian factories is serious. Uh, it's because of all the trading that we're doing. Now, we don't need to trade for all the resources that we're trading for now. Uh, so we can actually pull back on this a bit. Uh, and we might even be able to go ahead and, and put some of those factories we have now towards something. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and assign some of our, our factories. Um, because we actually have some resources now that we took... From the Americans, uh, so let's go ahead and place this into. We we need to update a lot of infantry equipment. Still need to update a lot of artillery too. But do we have the tungsten for that? We do. Uh, so we're going and do that. Uh, only thing we're lacking is rubber, so we will not build anything that requires rubber. You know, no more planes, uh, which is unfortunate because I feel like we do need planes. Uh, what else can we do? We can do support equipment. It looks like we, we're starting to have some shortages there. Uh, so we're going to put it into support equipment. Still good on on our factories right now. Or, excuse me, on our resources. And that's it. That's all we're going to have. It looks like we're about to be short on steel now. So that's just the way we'll manage it is based on resources. That's how we'll keep our eye on that. Uh, and I suppose we can go this way. Maybe we can cut. You know what? We'll try right there, though. It's going to be kind of hard to cut troops off without at least some divisions down here to help us out. Uh, we're slowly getting the Red Army over here. Uh, and those are those cruddy divisions, though. So they're not great. Uh, Leningrad has fallen, so... Uh, the Germans should have the Soviets capitulated soon, which will allow them to prioritize these naval invasions. Uh, you see another one here in France. And maybe even work on doing an invasion of Britain. Of course, they control the seas, though, but uh, they should be having uh, oil oil problems soon. Uh, as we take the oil from the United States, who is the UK going to trade for oil with? Who is the United States going to trade with oil with? There's nobody. Uh because they're enemies with everybody. The Allies are fighting absolutely everybody right now. Uh, so, so yeah, I feel like uh, that's how we're going to win the naval game. Is due to the fact that they're not going to have not going to have any oil. Uh, and that's how we'll, we'll win it. They'll just completely run out of oil. Uh, I suppose we should have gone after this so we can stop that air base. Uh, we need to get control of these damn air bases, man. All right, so just again looking for opportunities. Uh, so we've taken this one. Let's just go fully in here, and, uh, and then we just need to defeat that that tank unit, which really doesn't have much equipment. So if we're able to do that, then uh, and get those guys defeated, then we can cut off three more divisions here. Now, I do want to save a little bit of time at the end here, so a couple minutes we're going to end this uh, actual plane, so that I, we can take a look at the casualties that we've done so far to the Americans. Uh, no troops here, uh, so let's just go and have one division wrap this up. Uh, this is getting wrapped up here. Let's make sure that that guy's assigned to that front. Again, just kind of, you know, moving from one side of the front to the other. Just making sure that our units continue to uh, move. And this is across a river. When does he leave? It's going to be a while, so we, will, we might actually be able to beat him over here. 
Let's take a look. It is across rivers. So it does take some time. No, it just takes a long time to move in some of these provinces. Uh, a lot of weird situations here. Let's make sure that these guys are all signed here. And we'll just have one division. Just whoops. One division wrap this up. Also, we can make sure that we're actually getting planning bonuses when we're sitting still. And same thing with this prep army here. When they're sitting still, make sure they're actually getting planning bonuses. Again, we're manually controlling it. So it doesn't really matter how they how they look. Uh, got another convoy sunk there. And we're just about done with this order here that we've been working on for a while. Got all of Florida taken as they've... Uh, just mistakes, man. So many mistakes. We're almost gotten there. Uh, and then we'll attack this tank unit here. We did get the... Uh, focus done. Uh, those are two civilian factories. Super helpful. Uh, we are going to go after the manpower now. And then after that, I don't think we'll do any more focuses until we get the uh, stability and uh, political power situation uh, fixed. Uh, we definitely have to get that, that taken care of. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what this is here. Another convoy sunk. And again, those are all troop convoys, so you know, it helps. Each one of those sunk does kill a lot of dudes. It's a lot of men dying in the sea. All right, so he's gonna go up this way and go towards Seattle and cut that one infantry division off that's defending the river. And I suppose we can have this guy come up over here. And one of these divisions needs to do something other than whatever the hell he was doing. So I'll just have, have him go to that one province for right now. Uh, it does look like we have, yeah, divisions just not doing what we want them to. So I want to get them fixed. All right, just getting some of those, uh, back territories wrapped up and could potentially cut some troops off here so we're going to attempt to um, trying to see the best way to do this I think what we'll do is we'll attack here and then we're going to send another division because I don't I don't know if he can attack oh he can attack across there all right so we'll try and cut these guys off here uh, there's another four divisions that we can have cut off there uh, we can cut off more if we can get a win here so let's try and attack with both of them it looks like that will be a win that'll cut off more troops again I'm just trying to, to cut troops off because we, we don't want to uh, damn I'm not going to be able to beat that guy is this a, a creditor division? it is Okay. Uh, so yeah he's not going to be able to do the trick he doesn't even have any artillery support uh, but yeah we want to try and cut off and destroy units as much as possible so that we don't have to fight them all the way across America but yeah this is how it looks guys um, we took a lot of territory uh, while they weren't defending it so they're in a bad situation uh, not looking good we are starting to run low on manpower we do have our stability issues we do have our political power problems so we're not without our own issues uh, we do have problems guys uh, but the Americans are in a worse situation because we just conquered a ton of their territory uh, so what I wanted to do is go ahead and take a look at the uh, the casualties now guys so we've lost a total of 10,000 men uh, and 3.3 thousand of that was to the Cubans only 7.5 thousand to the Americans uh, the Spanish have taken 12,000 casualties as well. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of those were in the sea, uh, being sunk by the American fleet or the British fleet, perhaps. Yeah, the British fleet. Looks like 8.3 thousand. Uh, also, when they took, uh, Gibraltar, there might have been defenders there. Uh, and then if we were to look at, uh, our fielded manpower, I mean, we almost have, we probably have more fielded manpower than they do at this point. Uh, because, I mean, we have a lot of fielded manpower ourselves. Uh, but all of our allies as well. Uh, but yeah, not too many casualties uh, overall on our side. Uh, their side is taking 262,000 casualties, 12,000 of the British. The Spanish did the most of that to them. Uh, what we're trying to look at is the Americans, though. You know, a couple thousand casualties here and there. Uh, Dutch have taken 11,000, 26,000 for the Cubans. Uh, so we killed 22,000 almost uh, for only 3,000. So not bad there. Uh, with the Americans, we've killed 165,000. Colombia's killed almost 10, uh, the Spanish almost 15, uh, we're almost 166 actually, so for 7.5 thousand, that's what we've killed, they're already currently 44% towards capitulation, they're not doing well, uh, not doing well at all, yeah, they're in a bad, bad situation now, and so yeah, we're definitely winning this conflict, uh, and once the Americans fall, we'll go after Canada, and from there, it's just the British, really, um, I mean, obviously, they still hold South Africa, uh, Australia's just about to fall, I suppose they, they're winning in India, so there is that, uh, but, but they're about to face the axis there in India now, uh, up to this point, they've only been fighting the common turn, uh, so I do expect that they'll get pushed back in India as well, uh, and you can see that the Italians, uh, well, you no, know, I don't really know how much they push down here, because I haven't been watching this, but I think they are pushing down south, so I think they're going to lose there in Africa as well. So uh, the Allies are on their way out. They're just about done. Uh, and it was really easy, and, and that's not how I want this this uh, series to go. So we're going to have to 
uh, maybe help with the, the British invasion, uh, and then figure out what we want to do from there. Uh, because, yeah, the Americans end up being uh, really easy because they need to defend their territory. Now, this situation can very much change. We do not have a lot of divisions. I have no manpower to build new ones. Um, I mean, we have, like, stockpiles of equipment, I think. Uh, but I think we are running low on some stuff because of the casualties we've taken. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I do think that we're going to have trouble defending this entire front. Uh, we could have a lot of trouble defending this front. And they, they got a lot more divisions than us. Now, we do have all the assistance of our allies, though. So I guess there's that. Uh, but yeah, we, we do not have very many divisions on this front, guys. I mean, we have, what, maybe 40-something? 40 40-something, 40 43 divisions uh, on this front right now? That is not a lot. Uh, the Americans definitely are going to outnumber us. Uh, so if they can just get organized, uh, they could potentially push us back. Um, again, though, it really depends on, yeah, I suppose with all of our allies helping, we might actually outnumber them. So I, I feel like there might be not... There might not be anything they can do at this point. Uh, they control the skies, though, so they have that benefit. They control the seas, they have that benefit. Uh, but I think it's done for them. Yeah, I think they're I think they're done for, guys. That is where we are at. Uh, overall, they just uh, they made some they made a massive mistake not defending their their border with their fascist neighbor, uh, who's conquering everything, who had conquered all of Central America and had got South America all in their alliance, and and you know the AI didn't see that as a threat. So that's interesting, uh, but. We are going to go ahead and end the episode here. We do have some army experience. We can make some adjustments, guys. Uh, I don't know if we should make any adjustments, though, because of our lack of manpower. Uh, manpower is really bad, and we have no political power to change it. Uh, we are getting this one, though, so that's going to be an extra 1%. That'll be pretty helpful. Uh, so I'm not too worried about the manpower. Uh, but I don't know if we'll be able to build units. We'll have to see how much we get from that 1%. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, uh, even if it was easy, uh, I suppose. It was pretty easy. Americans didn't put up much of a challenge so far. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, which remember won't be until Tuesday. Uh, we will not be having a Monday episode, and we don't typically. Uh, and so the next episode will be on Tuesday. Uh, so I'll see you guys then, and thanks for watching.